Hi and welcome to Cosmic Hamsters. This week we will be talking about why hamsters do not belong in colonies. I never thought I would be making a video like this but a supposedly well respected hamster account on Instagram um, who has had good hamster care for a few years and is now all of a sudden decided to create a colony for nine hamsters of mixed species and sex and keep them in a 120 centimetres by 50 centimetres cage and they decided to call this a colony. So I just wanted to address this here because apparently this is like um, hamsters living in mixed groups and calling it a colony is um, becoming a popular thing in certain countries. So I thought I would just address it today in this video. <laughs> it's kind of like a word you start with it. So let's try and unpack it a little bit. So first off, Syrians and Chinese hamsters are absolutely 100% solitary animals. There is research on this of them in the wild. The only time that they would come in touch with each other is obviously for like breeding purposes. And then we have the dwarf hamsters, including Roboroskis. Now, I know a lot of people keep these in pairs or trios, but for me personally, I don't think it's worth the risk um, of them falling out and hurting or killing each other. So if you do keep pairs or trios of dwarf hamsters, strongly recommend you have a massive cage and you have two of everything, like two wheels, two hides, two food dishes, two water bottles. But even then you can get a more dominant hamster. So if you see any signs of that, um, you really do need to separate them. It is more complicated than most people think and pet shops will not give you advice on this. They do not know what they are talking about. So if you do go down that route, I strongly recommend having another cage on standby if you need to split them up. But again, for me personally, I would never have them together. It's just not worth the risk or the worry or the stress. I want to keep my hamster safe. I have been an active member on the Hamster Central Forum for a few years now and we hear again and again about how um, pairs of dwarf hamsters have been hurting or killing one another and they have to be split up or somebody's devastated because one of their hamsters has killed the other hamster or hurt the other hamster. And then the other thing also that happens is that the pet stores sell them in pairs and they've often been missexed, so you'll have a male and a female, and then they end up with babies. And the hamsters are absolutely perfectly happy living on their own. They'll never know any difference. Um, it's not being cruel to keeping them on their own. They are just not a social animal. If you want a social animal that is happy to live in groups, look into getting rats, mice, guinea pigs, something like that. Also, in the wild, if dwarf hamsters were living together and they fell out, they could just go off and live somewhere else. They can't do that when they are in the same cage. We simply cannot replicate how they would live in the wild. Right, so now we've got that out of the way, let's talk about colonies. Right, colony is a group of people, animals, living together. Now... If you've got a mixed species of hamsters living in a cage and calling it a colony, this just these hamsters would never meet each other in the wild. They live in completely different areas of the world. They wouldn't meet each other. They shouldn't be meeting each other. And therefore, they are very likely to hurt each other, attack each other, potentially kill each other and this is just a whole stressful situation for all of these hamsters to be living in and even if like so for this particular example they are in a 120 by 50 centimeter cage which is really just big enough for one Syrian hamster not nine of different species hamsters <laughs> So, and don't forget, like, you know, in a 120 by 50 centimetres cage, you're not going to be able to fit nine wheels. You're not going to be able to fit nine food bowls, nine hides. It's just ridiculous. And they're just asking for trouble. 
And you know, we're talking about different sized hamsters here, the different species. So, you know, a Syrian hamster is like 10 times as big as a robo. So can you imagine putting them two in a hamster cage together? You're just asking for trouble. In the description below, I've also left some links to some research on the hamsters that are solitary. And I'll also leave the research on hamsters getting stressed when they are living together. I really hope you found this video helpful and you will not keep your hamsters in colonies, aka groups. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!